endorsed by 10 Grammy Award winning producers. Hmm, that sounds mighty fancy. This is the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros totally wireless, truly wireless earbuds um, that sound like over-the-ear headphones. Could that be the case? Could this be the long-desired product that we've been wanting as we have been reviewers and maybe uh, audiophiles, uh, light-duty audiophiles like myself? I'm not totally uh, buried deep into audiophilisms, but uh, I do appreciate some good sound and I have a over-the-ear headset that I go to and now I think I might have an in-ear that I go to. This has Astria coaxial acoustic architecture inside this thing and if you want to know what that is you can open the smooth box and you can see the uh, right here the bass diaphragm here and some little speakers that funnel into here and go through a filter uh, like so and then the audio comes together um, with a sound stage, a huge sound, set, sound stage, so you can hear all these different sounds coming from different directions through that filter and come into your lobe um, with great bass, great highs, trebles, lows, you know. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. That balanced armature driver uh, for the highs and the mids is what's uh, insane. And that's that little metal piece uh, that's that's pumping right into your earlobe here. And then the speaker is backward firing and comes in and around through a filter and then into your ear. And that filter, I think, kind of uh, does a good job of fusing that audio together and not too much separation, too much all over the place, and helps really with that muddle that bass with those highs and, and mids and stuff like that. It produces some dang good sound. And now you've already re researched this, I'm sure a lot. You know that it has wireless charging, 32 hours of total playback time with charging from the case itself. Um, but the balance between it, and they brag on that, and I think they should. It's all over the place about this uh, state-of-the-art design which integrates a balanced uh, armature and a dynamic driver into a single module. And that is true. It's a single entity in your ear, but these two or three things working together to make that happen is really impressive. And uh, if people have said that this is the nearest thing to over-the-ear headsets or something like that, I think that's a true statement. So those reviewers are correct. There are some reviewers that have said that there's a hiss uh, in there. Uh, on this particular headset, there is a mild, like super mild. And the only time I really hear it is whenever I'm messing with the app with no music going on. Because as I'm pushing buttons on their app, the Soundcore app, um, it, it like fires up to produce some audio, the clicks of some buttons and things of that nature, and I can hear a slight little hiss in there. So they can say that, and it's true, but is it a problem? Uh, not for me, but if, if you listen to things in absolute total silence, and you want silence in the music and the style that you listen to whenever there are low points in it where the sound goes away, some kind of symphony type, stuff but if you're just listening to typical music or even watching movies uh, I really like these earbuds because you can lay down in the bed at night maybe uh, watch a, a show a 30 minute show on your phone movie listen to a little bit of music before you go to bed whatever to just decompress and relax uh, you can do that with uh, no obstructions from like a headset or something like that so I, I do like that on that that end of it uh, but yeah, you get uh, eight hours of playtime through the earbuds and 32 hours with the charging case. Uh, you get Hear ID, um, and Hear ID, uh, that didn't work for me. Like, my right earbud would not go through the uh, sound tests. And if you've ever done a hearing test in one of those booths where you, you uh, have these different pitches of sound and highs and lows and you have to push a button every time you hear those it's the same thing you go through it'll go through the left ear first switch over to the right ear and go through that my right ear never would work so i wasn't able to test out the hear id a lot of reviewers have stated that the hear id worked best for them so right when you pull the earbuds out they connect with your phone right away i've never had an issue one and uh, what you'll do is you'll go into the soundcore app and then boom they're right there and you can tap on the right 
or the left itself and see it's at individual battery levels, which is, which is a good thing to be able to know that at a glance like this and as quick as it connects so it's not a hassle to figure out where your battery life is so that you know that one's not failing over the other one or you have an issue or something going on is what I think about it. But the controller, you can double tap, you can set your double tap settings or whole one second settings for the left and right, double tap settings, voice assistance, and your volume. So you can set that up for a double tap situation, hold for one second, it can be your volume up or down, or your voice assistant, whatever that is, Siri, Google Assistant, and you can reset that back to factory default. Go over to your equalizer settings, which you can also swipe from right to left through this, which is really nice to do. Um, all right, so now you got signature sound is what they recommend, top left. You got bass boost, classical, deep, flat, jazz, all this good stuff through here. And it's a ton of things. Acoustic, bass reducer, dance, electronic, hip hop, Latin, piano, R&B, small speakers, treble boost, vocal booster, treble uh, reducer, spoken word, rock, pop, lounge, jazz, flat, deep, classical, bass booster, signature sound. And you custom, the customs one's a new one for like January or something like that, maybe the end of December. So you can go in here and actually create custom uh, equalizer profiles or whatever. Um, that's nice. And then here's the here ID and then you just click next. And it'll go through all the tones and beeps for the left and right ear individually and create your own custom based on your actual hearing levels, which is really cool. It's just my right ear wouldn't work. It never would do the sounds. So I've got an email about that. I got to email them about that. And another fishy thing is I went on Amazon just to check the pricing before I started. Only used ones are available. They pulled the sales of new ones off of Amazon, which is really weird. I went to their site. It's $30 off right now. Uh, it looks like a Valentine's Day type sale through February. Um, so it's 30 off, which makes them 119 from Soundcore's website. So I don't know if they're just trying to steer traffic their way or they're gearing up to, they're trying to sell out of these to maybe come out with another version or actually fix some of the mistakes that people have had with like a higher hiss sound, uh, issues with the right earbud, which is, is in the Amazon reviews. Uh, people have had issues with the right earbud, so it's not just me. I'm going to email them and I'll leave uh, down in the comments, I'll leave whatever they say to me back again. I hope they send me another revised pair if that's what they're doing. I don't really know, but if they do, I'll, I'll mark that down. I don't think it's really gonna affect the audio sound itself. I don't think they're gonna leave what they've done internally here. I think this is gonna be something with connectivity or, or you know, something that they might can fix, I hope. And the wireless charging does work. It gets pretty doggone warm. I left it on overnight. And the whole case and the earbuds and everything got pretty toasty. And there's a button back here on the back where you can also push and see your battery level. You get three lights there. I like the four light option because I, I automatically associate that with 25% increments. And then the three dots just screws my head up. I don't know why. Uh, sound, they sound great. Um, like I said, they sound the closest, I think, to an actual over-the-ear headset, which is impressive. And the design and the interiors of this thing work great. Uh, how does the fit work? I think that's where it gets a ding for me is the fit and the feel of it. It's kind of awkward. Like the earbuds for me, I had to go large. And usually, typically, I go with a standard regular fit on everything. That's why my ears seem to, to be made. Uh, and so most people have the regulars that fit me pretty well. They have these little fins that push into this part of the ear, which pushes the bud into the ear canal. Uh, so I had to go with a large fin because the regular fin size actually um, didn't touch this part of my ear to push, keep the buds pushed in. So it kind of flap around a little bit. And the large size is actually a little bit too large. So it can uh, kind of pop out sometimes out of my right one. The left one stays pretty snug and fit all the time. But my right ear, it is just a little bit too much pushing in. And then if it somehow jarred out, it would kind of pop out of my ear, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But basically you put it in like so, turn and then lock, lock it in and it kind of points down at a little bit of an angle. And then you do the same with this one over here. The one that I have the most trouble with is my right. But it does seal up pretty good and you can see it just 
wants to pop out of there. I wish they had a size in between a regular and a large. They have a ton of earbud um, sizes in here, and I'll show you what that looks like if you're just curious. As you can see, they have a ton of earbud sizes through there, and actually different lengths on the earbuds go a little bit deeper, closer to your drum. But on the fin side, they just have small, regular, and large. I wish they had one in between a regular and large that would fit me because the large is just a little bit too big. Now they do not have noise cancellation built in, but they seal up pretty good. And once you really work with it, sit down, figure out your earbud size, these little fin sizes and get all that uh, under control, the actual uh, ceiling is great in the eardrum. And so you don't hear, see this, this end just popped out. See this fin? I have to go regular size on one and the other, but the regular doesn't touch the ear. This is extremely annoying is the fit. I, I really can't stand the fit. If, if I'm moving or talking or something like that and, and just working this in here, this side wants to pop out. The left fits great. And you, you could really say, well, that's your ear and that's your problem. True, but I've also owned a lot, a ton of true wireless stuff and a ton of earbuds. And I've never really had this big of an issue trying to find a perfect fit. But the audio um, is great. Uh, the audio is the best sounding that I've ever had in a true wireless earbud. And pretty much the best I've had in an actual wired earbud as well. And the range is insane on the Bluetooth. I was up in the top second floor of my house on the far right, went down to the lower left of my house. So I have walls, floors, walls, and then me. And I'm still connected to my phone, which for true wireless earbuds connections, that's, that's insane. But that's that Bluetooth 5, I guess, but working its magic. There's no latency issues. Gaming, you do get that off touch. So if you're ta -ta 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 and, and shooting and doing things, it's a little rhythmic off there. You know, you can't really game with it. But um, watching movies and stuff, the latency is not bad at all. And, and everything pretty much stays in sync. And it doesn't bother you. Um, so my biggest ding for these is the fit. I don't care for it. I wish they had a size in between the regular and large. Uh, it doesn't bother me. That's not noise canceling uh, headsets um, because it seals pretty good and I don't think you need it. And sometimes that noise cancellation kind of makes the sound seem a little weird and, 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 and funny. Uh, and really the audio always sounds better with that turned off anyways. Uh, one thing I wish it did have is the pass-through audio. So it's got, they brag about the uh, four mics, uh, two on each side, I think it is. Uh, so that it, it does cancellate, it does have no, noise cancellation um, uh, for your mic. So that it does a great job of that, of the surrounding sounds and stuff like that. So somebody you're talking to can hear you. It does an okay job of that. I doesn't expect anything better from a true wireless uh, than that, really. Um, so I'm not concerned about how, how I sound with someone on the phone, as long as they can hear me good, whatever. But it does a great job of canceling out sound and stuff whenever we're on a conversation. So that's great. Um, what I do wish it had was the pass-through audio. They brag about the mics. Why not take advantage of those mics? And, uh, and, and like on the Jabra 65T, active 65Ts here, which are really my kind of go-tos. Uh, they fit uh, way better than those and it just sits right along in here just really well. Everything about the Jabras are good, except on the Anchor side, they have them on audio sound. It's, it's way better, and battery life, uh, the connectivity uh, using a newer version of Bluetooth than these is better. Um, the range is way better, the wireless charging, the USB type C uh, port that's on the sound cores is better because this one has a dated now, thank God, dated uh, micro USB. Uh, but believe it or not, the Jabra 65Ts are still my go-to and I don't think you really need to upgrade to the 75Ts unless you want uh, the Type-C and I think it might have wireless charging as well. But you can get the Jabra 65Ts for 50 to 60 bucks somewhere in there refurbished right now. The actives, as far as the last time I looked. And I would go that route if it was me, uh, to be honest, because the pass-through audio is such a great thing and you can control that. And basically what it allows you to do is invite the sound around you so it doesn't, so you have like it's open air feel and it reduces a little bit of the audio sound, yes, but it allows you to hear your kids if they're sleeping on a monitor 
or uh, if you're in traffic, it's a safety thing where you can hear people talking to you and you can talk back without really muting your audio. So I love that, and I don't know why they couldn't incorporate that, maybe through an update or something. If Soundcore could do that, I think it would make this headset that much greater of a headset. And I, I wish they would change these fins out, uh, this fit out. I, I personally like the hooking fins that Bose has. Uh, those have always, those fins have always worked best for my ears and their comfort level's insane. I can wear those all day. These couple, couple hours, and that, that's about all I can get uh, out of them before it really starts to hurt my back of my ear in this cartridge here. So, uh, overall, yeah, 150 bucks. Um, I like them, but I mean, they sound great. For the sound reason alone, they're probably worth the 150. And right now with the 30 off, yeah, they're worth the 119. Uh, but the, the fit is missing some functions that I like on other headsets that causes me to use these uh, for safety reasons, for kids' sake and stuff like that. And when I, I want to know the sound around me and, and all kind of stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, give it a shot. You could get this. You could get the refurbished Jabra's all for probably right at the price of the AirPod Pros. So I think that, that seems to be a better deal, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you think. Uh, make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified of the next review that I have, which is just kind of like a recommendation, it seemed to be. Uh, but there's a discussion about these and the issues that I personally have. And I know you've probably already researched the heck out of these things. Who hasn't by now? Because they really hit and blew up pretty hard. And it has a button uh, also on the top that you can push, which I like. You don't push in, you grab the bottom and you push the top. And that's where your clickers are on each headset too. I forgot to mention that. And that's a good thing. So they did a lot of things right and a few things they really need to improve on and maybe implement to compare it to the job. So, see ya.